What would you do if one morning you just straight up spawned in the middle of your city with only the clothes on your back <laughs> and a Bitcoin? Oh my God. Concord grape jelly. Is this supposed to be the Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, uh, give me that. Uh, I don't even know whose that is. It's mine. Here's your Bitcoin. Thanks. A Bitcoin is a form of cryptocurrency. Basically digital money. Digimoney, if you will. That sounds like a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> if anyone blows up with the name Digimoney in the next 12 to 36 months, I want 50% royalties. Anyways, Bitcoin is not backed by any government or country central. <laughs> Basically, no one is the boss of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's yes. a baddie. That's all you need to know. It is... It's 10 a.m. I think we should get some food. I'm very hungry. Probably first on our agenda of surviving, I guess. We're at a food truck park, as you can probably not tell. Half of these guys don't even accept credit card. The odds that they accept Bitcoin are probably, let's just say, we'll call it slim, okay? Basically what has to happen is they have to have like a Bitcoin account or wallet or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. Essentially, I have to send them a percentage of my Bitcoin to their wallet. I don't know. I know what to do, but I don't know how to explain it. Let's go, I'm hungry. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful day. I don't mind. It's amazing, <laughs> it's man. It's incredible, actually. So before I even order, do you guys accept Bitcoin? No. No? No. Oh, shucks. Try to borrow some money then from a friend or something. Okay. I'll be yeah. back. Thank you. Good, okay, so the audio cut out on this clip, but I swear to God, this is exactly how it went. Um, hi, excuse me, ma'am. I'd like a, a plate of food, but I'm gonna have to pay with this Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, Ryan, you're so cute and handsome. Wow, Bitcoin, that's so cool. Oh yeah, it's really no big deal. I'm filming a video, actually, but... <clears throat> Are you choking, ma'am? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'll save you telepathically. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Ryan, thank you so much. I can't believe you just used your mind to save me. Anyways, we don't accept Bitcoin. Oh, well, that's all right, ma'am. As long as you're safe, that's all I care about. Oh my gosh, Ryan, thank you. Why does no one accept Bitcoin? No one accepts me. Let's keep trying. Think I can ride this bad boy? Wait, I think it's actually on. Is this someone's scooter? Dude, it, it's working. Woo! This is a blessing from God. Is this your scooter? No. So bad, I think someone forgot to turn it off. One more lap. <laughs> I'm never coming back. Let's see what you got. I don't have much. <laughs> Someone's definitely gonna have the most outrageous Uber bill. <laughs> what a king. Come on, GMC, get out of the way. I'm trying to see my dude ride. God, it looks like the GMC's going after him. It's their scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Pull over! Yes! Absolute legend. Absolute legend. So that's the only transportation I'm gonna have today. Maybe it'll still be available in like an hour. I guess if I'm not gonna survive today because I can't get any food, might as well look good while doing it. So, gonna get a haircut here. These are my boys, Rosewood. I don't even know if they're gonna accept Bitcoin. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna tell them until after. Dip out of there if they don't. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We'll see what happens, fingers crossed. Let's get this cut. Hey, Chris, how's it going? What's up, man? How you good doing? to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Just gotta go on this weekend. This weekend, absolutely nothing. Just literally nothing. Oh, by the way, do you guys accept Bitcoin? Of course. Of course. I accept Bitcoin and all sorts of electronic currency. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I was worried I was gonna have to just get the cut and run. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I've got a massive head, so the tight sides always makes me look better. I love it. Oh baby, oh baby. All right, sick. Well, now I have to pay you. Okay, so the cut is $35. That's point zero zero three eight one two four seven Bitcoin. <laughs> so I'm gonna send that to Chris. You got it? Oh yeah. All right. Looks like we're good. Appreciate it, Chris. Dude, my pleasure. Yeah, absolutely, y'all take care. Bye. See ya. No way. No way. It's still here. I'm going for a ride. I'll see you later. Bitcoin where there's free scooters laying around everywhere. Why don't we just take these to go get some food? You could rent one and this one's free. Guys, I'm not kidding by the way, this is just on. But then I feel bad because what if someone, no. If someone gets charged like $100 for this, they can just call Uber. My dad did that, so I know for sure. It's refundable. I just feel like this is literally a blessing from the heavens. Do I take the scooter and be a bad person forever or do I walk and possibly starve? We're taking the scooter. It's 
served me well. We should probably not park these in the driveway. Towing enforced location. That bill is gonna be insane. After like a solid 20 minutes of riding around, we found that the only restaurant in our city that accepts Bitcoin is like three miles away. So we need to figure this out. This looks like a thinking tree to me. Oh! Okay, so I'm on coinmap.org. It tells you all the restaurants in your city that are supposed to accept Bitcoin. The thing is, you click on it, red wraps. Guess what? That went out of business four years ago. Gonzo juice doesn't even exist. I'm starting to think that all these restaurants that accept Bitcoin literally went out of business because of it. So apparently the only one still in business that accepts Bitcoin is High Kitchen. But now the million dollar question is how do we get there? It's three miles away. Are you walking there? I'm not walking there. No ride sharing service accepts Bitcoin. However, I did figure something out. So on the BitPay app, this is where I have my Bitcoin. You can go to buy gift cards. I really didn't want to have to do this, but I think I do because I literally can feel my stomach quaking at this point. She's quaking. I'm literally quaking. It's going to be okay. I'm gonna buy an Uber gift card. Please just drag me in the comments for cheating. If it is cheating, I don't know. So how much Uber credit do we want? How about $20? That's gonna cost us 0 0.00217855 Bitcoin. That's the thing about this. I don't even know what that means, you know? I can't even identify how much that is. All right, slide to confirm. There's the Bitcoin logo. Okay, gift card. I think we can do this paste. Add. Yes, your $20 gift card was added. Okay, so we have transportation now. We use the Bitcoin. That's legit. I don't care what you say. That's legit. Okay, I guess we can just Uber there now. Thai kitchen, fingers crossed. Should I call them? Oh wait, it doesn't open for another 40 minutes. Oh my God. Think about where I'm gonna, I need to get a hotel. There's no way hotels take Bitcoin. There's no way. Apparently Travala.com accepts Bitcoin for hotels, but I'm hitting search, literally nothing's happening. Yes, this website accepts Bitcoin. <laughs> I can get a hotel tonight. No way, guys, I was literally searching for like 30 minutes and I found a website. No way, dude, I was really getting worried. I went on every site I could imagine. Okay, so how much is this gonna cost? Open in wallet. Okay, hopefully this works. This is to pay 453 US dollars equivalent. No enough confirmed funds. What? Okay, so apparently since I bought the Uber gift card, now my Bitcoin has to go through a series of like confirmations in order for me to get my Bitcoin back. So I have to wait at least an hour. It could be a few days. <laughs> so if that's the case, we're sleeping on the streets tonight. Hopefully the rest of my Bitcoin just appears back in my wallet soon. I don't know. It's only several thousand dollars. That's <laughs> I'm not even freaking out. In the meantime, we might as well use our Uber, head to the restaurant. Cause I'm literally on the edge of death. Not gonna lie getting really hungry. At this point, we realize it's probably not a good idea to try to survive on a Bitcoin. Despite a Bitcoin being $9,100 right now, there's nowhere you can spend it. So, see Thai Kitchen? Oh, there it is. Hey, right on our right. Hi, too. I'm sorry, but there's just no way to accept Bitcoin here. I would literally be flabbergasted. Yes, dude, the confirmation just went through for the Uber gift card and we have our Bitcoin back. So we have 0.996 Bitcoin and we can pay for dinner with that and we can also book our hotel. But the thing is, I don't know if it's gonna take another hour to process the next transaction. We should wait. It'd be wrong to book the hotel and be like, I would pay you, but it's processing. Are you seeing my hand right now? This is me shaking from hunger. I'm just kidding, but I'm so grateful to be eating this right now. Bitcoin or not, this is gonna be the best bite of my life. You gotta try that. It's so good. Oh, get in my belly, dude. Dude, the food came so fast, I couldn't even finish chewing the dumplings. Nourishing my body and stuff. It's something you don't normally do if you own Bitcoin, but I'm doing it today. Robots be like. I'm full. Hello, can I ask you a question? We were on this like website and then it said that you guys accept Bitcoin. Is that right? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We do not accept the Bitcoin. Don't accept Bitcoin? Yeah. I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, this website, coinmap.org, says you guys accept it. That's, is that the address? Guadalupe Street 3009? Yes. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. We'll still pay. <laughs> four or five months ago. Really? Four or five months ago, you guys accepted it? Oh, wow. Okay. So other people are asking the same question. Are we cheaters? Yes. Am I fool? Yes. Well, that map was a lie. I mean, the map is the real issue here, not me. It's so quiet in here. I feel like I'm screaming right now. Hey, good news, everybody. We just found out this record store accepts Bitcoin. If only I could eat musical accessories. <laughs> Jason Rulo. That's our Uber driver, Jason Rulo. He's been over there. Oh, there he is. Hi, Jason. Okay, so now that our Bitcoin is like back in the wallet, we're gonna try to pay for the hotel. 455 US dollars. Oh my God, payment sent. Now what? <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I had to like leave the website in order to do that. So I don't know where I check if I, I don't know. Hopefully we have a place to stay tonight. Hello, how's it going? Good. I booked a room here. 
I don't have a room under drop in. You do? I do not know. I don't have anything. Uh, who'd you book it through? Cheapair.com. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to find your, your reservation. You don't have to worry about it. I'm sure we'll find it. Okay. Uh oh. I don't know what I'm going to do if this didn't go through. So if it takes it a while, then it's supposed to our system. Oh, thank uh, goodness. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, get your reservation set up. There is that for you, sir. Okay. And I'll go ahead and give you a couple of pieces of room. It's a fantastic room on the 10th floor. Yay. We'll go ahead and take a elevator, uh, a big A straight across the lobby. Welcome in, sir. Enjoy your night. Awesome. Your thank you so much. What floor? Uh, you gotta do the oh, you gotta do the thing. Okay. Stubborn, is it giving you trouble? Yeah. Oh, there, I got it. Yay! Okay. Glad you were here. I would have been so confused. <laughs> have a good night. Conversations in public elevators. Am I right, guys? Can I get an amen? Hopefully, no one's standing here. Okay. What room am I? Hold up. JW Marriott Elite? Hold up. Someone's living their best life. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh, um, is this my room? Oh yeah, that's me. Good evening, Ryan Traham. This is definitely my room. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised we got this far at all. A few things, I am hungry again. I feel like I stink, I've just been outside all day. My hair is looking fresh as heck. Apparently my payment method is just on my account so I could use my Bitcoin to buy room service. Yeah, so can I get the vanilla bean cheesecake? And do you guys have any fruit? Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then uh, just like a big water and I should be sad. I will say that it, it's genuinely hard to realize that I'm spending money right now because it's like 0 .00, 0 .00 blah, 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 Bitcoin. I don't know what to think about this whole crypto thing. It's not been the easiest day of my life. I'll tell you that much. Who am I kidding? This has been a luxurious day. I've got a haircut. I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed. Oh, Bitcoin or die, baby. Let's go, Bitcoins. Mm. Hello. Hi. Can I come in? Yes, please. Are uh, you gonna set it on the TV? Or like, not on the TV, <laughs> by the TV. I can't tell if this is a new peak or an all-time low. Either way, I'm excited. Oh my God. Oh my, two types of people in this world. A cheesecake and a plate of fruit. When am I gonna pick? I'm gonna do both. I mean, I have to do both. Honestly, at this point, you should just unsubscribe. I'm pathetic. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. Guys, I've not had that much to eat today. That Thai food was slapping, but mm, I am filthy. I'm literally filthy. Well, shortly after eating the scrumptious, dealy umptious cheesecake, I got ready for bed, went to bed, woke up, took a crazy dump, do not eat cheesecake at 12 p.m., and finished up this challenge. Bitcoin is not convenient. But Digimoney never asked for life to be easy. Now all I gotta do is sell it before the market crashes. Now I wonder what would happen if we tried to survive on only a penny. <laughs> Impossible. I'm gonna turn this penny into a billion dollars, or at least enough to survive, eat, fill up my gas tank. But first I'll use this whiteboard to explain the rules. There's Abraham Lincoln, enjoy. <laughs> Ушел, 